Hi all! It's Monday afternoon, it's actually nearly 5.15 on the 25th July 2016 I don't know, I just felt like doing it. Right. As you know, Sundays I go at Mum's. Didn't make a video last night because I was actually home at around about 10.30 and the reason I was home late is because dinner was so late. Um, Mum was late getting dinner on because the meat hadn't quite thawed. It was still frozen in the middle and she won't cook meat that's uh, frozen. I had to move it because of the cat. <laughs> but, uh, I did come home with some bike parts that I'd scavenged off of one of the frames Bigelos gave me, actually. It's just a crank. Because it's a far better crank than the one that's on the Sun Solo that I'm going to um, fix up. I'm just struggling to get the um, cotter crank off. It's being a stubborn bitch. I need to trim my moustache. I keep... I love my moustache, but it when it gets long, I, you know, you end up sucking on your own moustache hairs and it's annoying. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the frame up later because I've got to go downstairs, lock the bikes up and whatnot. Um, I'll bring the frame upstairs so you can see it. And I'll soak it in WD-40 overnight. And at some point this evening, I will have a look on YouTube and see if there's any other methods I might be able to use to get the bastard pegs out. The cot pins are stuck. Although I know it's not a tight seal on one, because I did pour oil down one of them and it came out the other side, so... But I had to cut the ends off the cot pins with a hacksaw, because... Uh, I've splattered them so much to try and bash them out, that's the problem with them. What I need is like a, a tool of some sort to push them out like you would a, um, a chain splitter tool. Anyway, my rally winner sold this morning, he was a young lad, younger than me, I'd say early to mid twenties. And he did have a good long look at the bike. Um, and I adjusted the front brake for him because it was actually rubbing. See, things like that don't bother me, but when I'm selling bikes that I intended to keep myself, I forget to make those adjustments. But that was just a matter of adjusting the cable adjuster. And it needed some air in the front tyre. Um, but apparently, he did ride at home. Well, I assume that was his home. I think... I'm not sure. He was with some lady who looked to me old enough to be his mum, but I'm not going to make that assumption. But she said um, he was going to ride it back to a place called Mulbarton, which is about an hour and a half ride from here. And I did see him riding off on it, actually. He'd gone to the car, and uh, I hopped on my bike to go and get some sausage rolls for breakfast, brunch, whatever you'd want to call it by now. I'm sucking on an antacid because I had a bit of heartburn. Mum, 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 mum. I'll crunch it. Usually I suck on them, but I'll crunch it because, um, I could be sucking on it for a lot longer. Right. Anyway, when I was standing in Christopher's, just around the corner there, I saw him come cycling past with all the cycle helmet on and the backpack, and so yeah, he was going to ride it back. I just hope he got there okay. Uh, but before I came back. <laughs> It is a nightmare when Sainsbury's has got Lego on offer because I came back with another set today. 
That's four sets since Saturday. I'll show you that in a minute. But I also got out of the Katali Charity Shop more bike lights. Um, I've got two pairs of these and they were in the box. No batteries with them. So I presume someone had used the batteries at some point in something else, but it does work. I'm not going to shine it directly at the camera because it is rather bright. But uh, this light actually confuses me. It takes four double A 1.5 volt batteries or cells if you want to get technical. Everyone calls them batteries. But it says on the bottom here that the bulb type is a 2.4 volt, 0 0.5 amp bulb. So how is that 6 volts not making this bulb go pop? There is some sort of circuit board in there, so I'm gonna, I've got a pair of these, so I did get two sets. They're 3 quid and it goes to a charity I like to support, so... I actually do like this style of bulb, um, bulb, style of light. It is a set. I just come with the rear light as well, which is LED. Four LEDs. You've got one that shoots directly out the back, one on the corner, one on that side, and for some reason, one on the top. Which uh, I suppose, in a sense, it isn't a bad thing because if your bracket comes loose and your light starts to do that got an extra little bit of light at the top there. <laughs> but there's no flash mode, it's just on, off. Which, uh, I've got a preference to these days. In my younger days, I used to like the ones that flashed, but nowadays, I don't know, I just prefer the steady burn ones. I really don't know why. Um, I only like to use the flashing ones if I've got a steady burn one on it as well. I don't know, that's just my own preference. A light is a light at the end of the day, isn't it? As long as it's the right colour. Oh. Uh, I have to say, it's not bad design. It's not bad quality either, to be honest. But the same quality as these ones I got at the weekend. Now, I did want to put these on a bike, but I can't remember which one. And I'm actually thinking of putting these on Claudia. She can have those ones, I think. I think that would actually go quite nicely underneath the seat post. Right. I went across to Lidl's as well and got this. I'm going to um, hopefully sort my windows out a lot better because there's a lot of drawers on here. One, two, three, four, six, so four, eight, 16, 33 drawers, if I count the big one as well, and I've got here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, <laughs> so, yeah, I could sort my windows out and doors out a little better, maybe be able to squeeze these ones in as well. But uh, it was reduced. The original price was eight ninety nine, and they'd reduced it to six twenty nine. It's the last one in store, so I suppose I just want to get rid of it. <coughs> so I grabbed it, <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I've had a. I just did on my cream. I've had a good clean up in this lounge. There's that set I bought. Lego Creator Beach Hut. There's three different buildings you can build with that. You see, if I had the cash, I'd have bought three of those and had one of each built up. <laughs> uh, ooh, dear me. Excuse me. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> right. I got all that. There's that pile of crap down there. That's all gone. Um, that keeps moving. It's too 
audio one and iron. There we go. Yes, yeah, so. A box of Lego there to sort out. It's just random loose Lego I've picked up and thrown in the box. Um, got those Technic sets built. They're up here. There's my drag car. And the pullback motor. The skid steer, or tractor loader as it's, they call it. And I still haven't figured out what this one is. I'm going to have to go on Lego's website and search the set. Because that was a two-in-one set. Um, which is why I bought two. <laughs> because with Lego you can only buy the one... Only buy... You can only build one model at a time in the two-in-one set. The same as that three-in-one. You can only build one of those houses at a time. Uh, so, that's why, as they were on offer, I grabbed two. So I could build both up. So my Technic shelf is... Uh, whoops, sorry, Nemo. My Technic shelf is uh, filling up. I haven't got a lot of room on there, have I? I need to move those Lego City sets and those superheroes cars. I don't know where to. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to find somewhere to move them. I'll expand my Technic up that top shelf. Any hoozle. Um, what was I going to say? Double A's on charge over there. Got those lights in there. Um, find a home for that. I've just got some bits to sort out in the bedroom. Uh, most of that is power adapters on the bed, which I'll throw in the box that's under the bed. I've got my big green crate under the bed that I put a lot of my adapters into. My laptop adapters will go in the drawer. I've got to put the instruction manual back into that. That is now twice you've done that, you dickhead. That's twice I've now walked into him because he's right behind me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pull this basket out of the way and move all that so I can move the swing up so I can slide that tub minus the camera and the binoculars uh, on a shelf under there. Try and get the dirty washing in there. So far, that's the second bag, which is almost full. So, I suppose we could say I filled uh, two rubbish bags up today alone. And three during the week, and I still feel cluttered. Mind you, I've got some car boot stuff in this cupboard over here, which I'm not sure whether to um, put an ad on Gumtree and say, you know, car boot stuff, £5 a lot, just to get rid of the fucking stuff out of my way. Or, to get a big box from Mum's, throw it all in said big box. Well, actually, I think I could sell the cars separately, to be honest. Um... I think I'll sell the cars separately. If there's anything else, if it's too crap, then I may end up chucking it out. But because uh, all those, ca that's a box of cars, and I sorted those out, and uh, I don't want those ones. So the ones I want are behind this box, or those two boxes there, and some under the bed, which I want to move into here. Mind you, it doesn't matter if they're under the bed. I just want to move it because I can, really. There's the crank. Uh, and I've got the full bottom bracket off of the frame as well. I do want to keep the frame I took that crank off of. I want to do a single speed project with it. Uh, that's the bag I've got the bottom bracket in. Because, it's, you know, it's full of grease. And I don't want grease to get all over everything. So I left that in the bag. Right, um, I'll put some space up there. Before I settle down, you know, to do such tasks, like perhaps build one of those, and or start building that, or whatever. 
the sort of Lego. I suppose I should just finish off what I was, what I started to do, and that's just put those bits away in there. Uh, go downstairs, lock up my Claude. I decided to use Claude today, not Claudia. I gave her a little rest. <laughs> she's she's still nicely locked to the reckoning out back. Uh, I'll bring up that frame so I can soak it in the for you. The can is in the bedroom. Blimey, I actually remembered where something was. It's a miracle! It does happen! Oh, I'm so going to kick your ass one of these days, Cat. Look. Look at this. He's just knocked my antenna over. That I've only just noticed has been knocked over. Then again, when I've been moving around and moving things around here, that might have been me, so... Hmm... Now I'll still blame Nemo. <laughs> Let's turn these lights off for a minute. I don't need those ones on. You know, I swear QDs have put the price up of these bulbs because they're four ninety nine now. I'm sure I paid less. I could be wrong, but I am pretty certain I paid less than that for these. Out of QDs. Uh, bulbs, I'm getting... Um, for this light fitting, I can get in QDs at two forty nine each. We'll say two fifty. So it's going to cost me a tenner for four bulbs, uh, and they're five watts. So it's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um, and apparently, the five watts, according to the pack, is the equivalent to a fifty watt halogen bulb, which is what you'd put in there ordinarily. So you would basically four fifty watt halogens. What's that? That's two hundred watts. So it's 180 watts less just by changing it to LED bulbs. <laughs> that's that's a freaking huge difference. A huge difference. And it's even less than that because that's a I can't remember if that's a 35 or a 37 watt. 35, I think. Pro light. I no, that's too far. The right, it's too small for me to read from here. Yeah, it's either 35 or 37, so at the very least, it's going to be using 15 watts less for all the sake for £10. But I do use the light in here a lot, so that probably will nope, um, have an impact on my electricity bill. Is my neighbour. Right. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera off before I ramble in the wall because I've got things to do and I'm guessing my little cat here is wanting some food. That might be why he's following me around the flat like a little sheep. Uh, yes, I'm going to get a few things done. I'm going to get locked up. Actually, before I lock up, I'm going to go in the bedroom and just get some bits sorted out in there and the last few bits cleared up in here. And I've got some empty carrier bags and crap. Bag of tools can go in the bedroom. Right, I'll talk to you in a little while. Well, guys, there's my son Solo. I've got the car pins on the crank soaking in WD-40 and I'll have a I'll leave that to soak overnight, and I'll have another crack at it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I've decided I'll go for alloy wheels in this one, as I've got them. Um, I've got an alloy handlebar right there. That'll go on. Um, I've already ripped off all the handlebar tape on one side to do that. The derailleur... Not sure if I'll replace that or reuse it yet, not until I take it off. I've got to take all the gear cable off. Gear cable's reusable, so I'm going to reuse it. And the gear shifter, that'll get reused. Yeah, there's my little Sun Solo. Seat post is free. I checked that before I took the seat off. But, 
which is full of cobwebs and stuff. It's a good clean. Good tea cut, I think. I've got some tea cuts, so... Yeah, I've got everything to build it. It's just this bit is holding me back at the moment. I should have all the cables as well, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to spend the rest of my evenings, one, just sorting out these trays of windows and my new storage. Then I'll probably build that. Or, if I'm hungry first, I'll go get something to eat. Because it is uh, nearly 7.30. So, probably the shortest segment I've ever done. <laughs> I'll um, talk to you later on. Okay, I've just been out to get dinner. A nice Donna meat and chips there, some burger sauce. And uh, as it was going past the same place where I got that record player from, I found a box. I've got a big wooden wall unit there full of stuff and with a big sign on it says free, please take. Uh, the only thing that interested me was this box. But, I'm going to make you wait because I want to go and eat first. So, talk to you in, I don't know, we'll say about 30 minutes or so. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was meant. Should we have a look inside the box? There is one item in here that didn't come in the box, I'll just put it in there so I can uh, get it upstairs. There's a little carriage clock. It's missing one of the... No, it's missing a foot as well. <laughs> it's, missing one of the... it's missing one off the bottom and one off the top. But what you could do is take one of these off, put on the bottom. It's worth salvaging. Is it? I'm going to have to get something in there just to leave that off. I'll do that later. What have we got? Tapes! A shitload of audio tapes. I haven't got a clue what's in here. I just saw tapes, so picked up the box. It looks like most of these are home recorded. So... Someone like the TDK brand. I don't know. We've got anything buried in the bottom. I'm going to empty the box. It's going to be easier. Hopefully nothing with eight legs is going to be hiding in here. One's just... these are all the same quality type of tape, or if we do have whoops, different Right, so there is lots of these TDKs here. Low noise, high output, D90. I remember rightly, that's a 90 minute tape. They don't look damaged, or that one doesn't look damaged anyway. These stickers! I can't remember the last time I saw things like this. Cool. Brain of Britain Final, 1988. I'm definitely going to need a decent stereo, I think. A lot of these just haven't got anything written on them. Act 4, Scene 2, Act 4, Scene 3, Act 5, Scene 2. I've got a feeling that none of these are actually music.
look if it tells you what type of tape it is. An older TDK one. Should remove those stickers. Got an inlay card here. Any questions? May the sec, May twenty sixth, nineteen ninety four. Any questions? Answers on the other side. <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be an interesting listen. What is that? Charlotte's Web or something? There's a BASF one, B I S F. BASF. <laughs> yeah, it does say um, Charlotte, Terry Waite and Charlotte, Charlotte's Web. Ferro Extra One. It's a Memorex. Well, it's a Memorex case with B A S F tape in it. The not a clue. I can't read that. It's the same with that. It's got something written in the middle there. It says empty. Was that a blank one then? Kaleidoscope, June twenty fourth, nineteen ninety four. Hmm. Audio cassette, low noise. What we've got on this one? BBC T Blue Peter assignment. TV, Sunday, February 4th, 79. The Bron... The Bronx... I can't bloody read it. Something at... Hallworth, Hayworth, I don't know. Some of these I think are going to be quite an interesting listen. Nineteen eighty three Religion and the Arts Symposium Teddy Colock Jerusalem Today. We've even got religious tapes in here. <laughs> There's another one there with nothing written on it. My mum had a mixtape like this. I remember X1. Can't remember what was on it, but I know my sister decided to, uh, when she was a baby, to uh, pull all the tape out of it. B.I.B. July 10th, July 17th, 1995. Another Memorex. These are all different colours, so I presume these are going to be different qualities. There's a DBS Plus. I may have to go through a YouTuber's channel called no, not called you. Called Tech Moan, because he specialises in a lot of this old audio and whatnot. See, there's another pink one. And there's a green one. That's an antiferic. Antiferic 60. Ah! Is that the difference? The length? Hell if I can read that right. Jesus. Ooh, something of the week. The dates on some of these is what's amusing me. <laughs> Brain of Brit. Ooh. Got some 
very rotten rubber band stuck to this one. <laughs> I, don't, I think they're well past it. I'll put those in the bin. Uh, da, 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 Hamlet, Act 3, Scenes 2 and 3. Act 4, Scene 1, 2 and 3. Act 4, Scene 2, 4 and 5. Act 5. Hmm. Looks like we've got some plays as well. Fuji! 90 minute. It's a Type 2. That's the only Type 2 I've actually seen. I can't remember without watching Techmind's videos what the types are. But I do believe Type 2 is a better quality one. 31st of the 8th of 97. There's quite a few cassettes here. I don't know how many cassettes here, but... Act 4, scenes 2 and 3, Act 5, scene 2. Well, there's definitely some plays here of some description. December 95, December 24th 95, Christmas Eve. 1995. <laughs> oh, hello, got one there. Complete with cast. Excuse me. Act 1, scenes 1 and 2. Act 1, scene 3. Act 2, scene 1. Act 2, scene 3, part 1. Most of them are cased. There's another rotten rubber band. got one of these in here as well. Look at this one. It opens that way. That is brilliant. I saw one of those on a YouTube video the other day and I thought, I'd like a case like that. Just to go with my little collection. Now I've got one. 1997. Nothing on it. Nothing written on it, that is. There's a lot of them like that now, nothing written on them. Or I can't read it. Well, I can't read it even when it is readable. We've already found that one out. Okay, we've got a TDK case with a JVC tape. And I wonder if the tapes were any good. I've always liked JVC as a brand. Never had any problems with them. I can't believe little hordes like this still exist. You sort of think because they've gone out or went out of fashion that everyone threw them out, but you still come across them. Ah, it's another Type 2. Now I'm going to have to do some research, I think, and just go back through Techman's videos. Um, just refresh my memory more than anything. See the rubber bands or it's old spaghetti. I'm not sure what it is. I'm, pretty, I'm hoping it's rubber bands. Right. So we've got all of those in cases. Those are just half cases. They ain't no good. What do you reckon? There's not a hundred tapes there, is there? No. So there's probably... How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 in that one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Twenty 
43 cased. Well, my, I don't think my 50 estimate was that far off, was it? 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 8, 9, 10, 62, tapes in total. Christopher. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, what are these ones? Brain of Britain. Oh, yes, the one I... Is that the one I read out earlier? This looks like a 60-minute tape. 1988? Yeah, 1988, fine. But it doesn't tell you... It says, made in Japan. There's another one. Playing too fast. Have you asked any questions on? <coughs> Sony! <coughs> Nemo's getting in and out of the box. <coughs> Something of the week, 1954. I'm sure that says 1954. I must have taken that from a, um, an LP or something. <clears throat> cool. That was a little bit interesting, wasn't it? Well, I suppose it would be if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, I was hoping there was some, you know, music in there, but never mind. I could make some mixtapes if I wanted to. <laughs> if I really wanted to go old school. I used to, years ago, I used to have them and used to do them straight from the radio. Apparently that's why radio DJs used to talk over the songs at the end and the start. To try and um, put people off recording them from the radio. So I heard. I don't know if that's actually true. <clears throat> but it does actually make sense because radios or radio DJs did, in the 90s when I was growing up, they did used to talk over the songs quite a lot. But... Uh, as soon as tape sort of died out, they stopped it. <coughs> oh, I've actually learnt something with using my VHS camera. When I export it from the program on that other computer, because I've got to export the capsule, um, as they call it, I've got to save it in the right format. <clears throat> because if I don't, as I've found out, one, it takes fucking forever to save it in Windows Movie Maker. <coughs> ah, bloody hell. As I found out last night, because I had to go to bed leaving this PC running, because it was at, by the time, by about one one thirty in the morning, it had only done 50%. And it took ages to upload it to YouTube as well. So, yeah, note to self. Make sure I actually export it in the right format. Nemo, go buy me a new camera. <laughs> He's been fed, so I know I haven't got to do that. He just wants some candles. He just likes being on camera, because he only ever gets on my lap when I've got the camera on. Right, what 
what am I going to do for the rest of the evening then? Oh, God, me. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I could build that Lego Creator set. I could do another... Actually, I might do that. Make another video for the Lego channel. So I've got all my windows and everything, and they're all sorted into that now. So I'm happy. About 99% of my windows and doors are all sorted into that. I've got a few here, which I, be I barely ever use this type anyway, so... I've just got to find somewhere to put that. Well, I suppose I should first put all the tapes back in that box. Let's just see if we can uh, access the battery compartment, because if the batteries are leaked everywhere, then it's not going to be a salvageable item, unfortunately, but uh, let's see, shall we? Well, this is awkward, because I've got the camera pointing this way. <laughs> I've got to... Ooh. Oh, that's even better. There's no battery in it. So I've got my box of double A's, and there's one lying right on the top. I'll put it in. I don't do nothing. Hello? second hand is trying to move. It might be a bit sticky if it's not been used for a while. So I'm going to pull it that out and just run the that free it up. Could even be a dead battery for all I know. Um, you could take one of these off the top here, like I've said, and put on the bottom so it's got four even feet. Or, another one, there's a bloody screw of thread It's actually snapped off. That's not a lot of help. actually holding everything together. Um. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's not a good idea to take those out, so I may have to make a foot up if I want to use it. Oh, looks like our second hand is um, sort of sprung into life. I sort of had this feeling that it may not have been used for quite a while, so it might just be a bit sticky. So, what I need to do... <laughs> it does actually stand on three legs! <laughs> just to prove it is on three legs. <laughs> Oops! Oh, the glass fell out. Oh. In this case, the plastic's fallen out. Oh yes, because of that. Well, the fact that's a plastic front proves it's not a lot of... I'm going to say not a lot of good, but it's not worth anything.
either. Yay! That's where it's sticking. But why is it sticking? Gravity to help it, will that help? It's going again. I do apologise for that. The uh, card filled up. So I've just transferred that footage and I'll just do this last section now. I'm just wondering if Nemo is still in that box or if he's moved. Because uh, he seems to have laid claim to it, because I've got all my tapes in that bag. Is he in the box? No. Nope. I did the uh, video for the Lego channel as well, so I won't uh, bother with sorting that out too long. I kept fluffing my words big time. I don't know why, but I worry more about fluffing my words and whatnot on the Lego channel than I do this one. I don't know why. <laughs> right. Whoa! <laughs> We're getting the box then. Your box. Watching a McJuggernuggets video. Oh, that reminds me, I've not watched a Vloggy Life video yet. Well, we've done a lot tonight, anyway. Uh, locked up outside. Mm, yeah, have I? Yeah. All done. And of course, I did. I did that ages ago. I'll call it quits. There's nothing else I want to add to the video. <sighs> Tomorrow's task. We'll be tackling the crank on that bloody Sun Solo over there. Clean up anything that needs to be cleaned on it, and then I might start reassembling it. watching a video here where a drunk man wakes up in someone else's bed in a stranger's bed anyway, yeah, oh, what was I talking oh yeah uh, and I think tomorrow I'm going to tackle up that large Technic set I'm sure there was something else I want to tackle as well I can't remember what it was that clock's working now the plastic bit front broke and I've taken it out of its cage but it is sitting over here ticking away nicely now I don't know what I'm going to do with this bit I could hmm, take these threaded rods out of here and glue the case together and then put the clock back in it That's one idea, I suppose. Right. I'll end the video then. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Oh, I'm out of it tonight. I don't know why. I've been just... My mind's just not been with it all day today. I'm doing my editing.
anyway thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow and hopefully when I next talk to you that I'll have that poxy crank off of that bike <laughs> I hope anyway bye bye